Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the South Park Center. I'm here with Stephanie and Simon with their movie, The LA Breakup. Let's take a look at the clip. Mm -hmm. I'll take one more and keep them coming, like on rotation. Thank you. And the dom, sir? Why are you nodding yes? Because I want champagne. You don't even like champagne. <laughs> Anyways, right when I get back, you immediately call the server over. So you're mad because I was excited to order when you got back? Yes. Uh, thank you both so much for being here and thank you for bringing your movie to us. Thanks for having us. Really great. I learned so much from it and, and had some reminiscence of past relationships, possibly <laughs> in some minute ways. But uh, no, thank you very Tumultuous much. Tumultuous relationship. Yeah, all those things. Yeah. Um, yeah, for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis. Okay, so um, basically it's a polar opposite couple um, and they get together, they have this long relationship, obviously, and then they decide. Well, at least Mia decides that, you know, she's coming to terms with a breakup. She mm -hmm. needs to, like, you know, get to a point in her life. It's either now or never. Mm -hmm. So there's a whole, like, opening monologue. And then, um, but, you know, John has a few tricks up his sleeve and he's not ready to let her go. And he feels her pulling away. So you kind of see that through the film. Well, you were so transformed as your character. I didn't even, like, fully recognize you last time. I was like, <laughs> oh. It's in the film as well. Like it's yeah. amazing. Like yeah. it was, it was really, really wonderful performance. I oh, was like, you. it was really fantastic. Um, now, obviously, this hopefully didn't necessarily get inspired by true things. But where did the inspiration come for you? Where you're like, I want to make this on film, and I want to make the LA breakup. Where did that inspiration come for you? Um, well, unfortunately, it was inspired by true events. There was, um, I was. I w obviously, it's over-dramatized because it's a film and you mm -hmm. want to make it funny, but there is the, um, there's elements of it that are very true. It's like mm -hmm. when you mix alcohol with an unhappy person, mm -hmm. you're going to have a little bit of an explosion. Yeah. So there was a lot of that going on. Yeah. And so for me, I wrote her, you know, almost to a degree of the way that I am mm -hmm. and the way that I know a lot of women are, mm -hmm. um, like friends particularly are, you know, when they're done, they're done. And no matter what comes into play, no matter how a guy or a friend or someone that you're ready to just like cut it off, mm -hmm. no matter what they do, you're just like, I'm over it. So I wanted to put a lot of that, I wanted to emphasize that of just, you know, feeling that just negativity and you're stewing it over for a year or so, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, and you're mm -hmm. just ready to just be mm -hmm, done. Mm -hmm. Everything they do is irritating. Everything. Yeah. yeah you know? Like yeah. chewing something is like, why are you chewing yeah, that way? Yeah. You know? Like yeah. so it was it was a lot of that. And I, I love that you put that on camera because I feel like, you know, everyone's kind of gone through an experience where they've got to a certain point in a relationship is for one thing. Um now what I loved about hearing you both last night at the film festival, it was so great to hear. I thought, what a great team uh, this duo is. Simon, how did you get involved with the project? Well, Stephanie and I have worked on quite a lot of projects in the past, commercials and whatnot, and we get on extremely well and have had a great friendship, and both creative and have very similar taste. So, you know, we, uh, Stephanie presented this idea to me, and straight away, I, you know, as soon as I'd read the first draft, I was like, that's great, you know, let's shoot it. Mm -hmm. So, I think it was a couple of years later we actually got around to shooting it. <laughs> I love but, it. But uh, better it's late true. than never. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I just support whatever I can with Stephanie, and, mm -hmm. you know, we're just trying to gain momentum together now to right. do some really fun projects, not just comedy, but uh, drama and, you know, yeah. um, Team is everything though, isn't it? Like I just, it I just felt your energy on stage and I thought I can just say that they, they, they just get each other, you know what I mean? They make it happen, they make it work. Aww. And that's important, Aww. isn't it? We, we are. <laughs> See, there you go, you get pugs. There we go. Stephanie and I have true, got a lot true. in common. Yeah. You know, I think we come from probably a similar family life yeah. as well. You yeah. Know? 
Yeah. So uh, I, I love think that. very sim similar sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. Um, that is important. Wait, you have a yeah. sense of humor? Yeah, uh, occasionally. Uh, occasionally. There you go. It's already <laughs> started. There's the humor in there. I no, I, I, so. I love that because it's such an important dynamic to making your film work. You know, when you've got a real strong team around you as well. What was? I mean, watching it was just brilliant. Like I, I, I love watching okay. it because. It reminds you of just so many different experiences, how you get, how the human emotion is when you may have had a drink or two, and all right. those different things. Did you kind of want to sort of have a, a film that also resonated with just the world universally, no matter what you've been through, even though this is the LA breakup, so to speak? Yeah, absolutely. Well, when I, when I first wrote this, I was thinking of doing a dynamic between a lot of metropolitan cities, like a like the New York breakup, Ooh, London yeah. breakup, a Paris breakup, mm -hmm. a Chicago breakup, like kind of going like worldwide. Like, I love that. And having like a little bit of like fun with it, yeah. you know, and just doing very different types of couples, you yeah. know, um, and the way that they are and interact and break up. and. Um, I think the majority of it will probably still revolve around alcohol, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, alcohol exists in many cities. Yeah, so, no, yeah. but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> yeah. it, there's still going to be heightened emotion. Yeah. Um, but I think the I think it'd be funny to see those types of cities and how they are and interact, especially yeah. like London and Paris. We're like, the I worst, feel, aren't we? We're just you, you know, guys, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably, probably physical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, to, to like yeah. a, yeah, uh, yeah, what is that, the Bridget Jones, where they're just yeah. like oh, running on the yeah, street yeah. and they're the kind of with like the, the fun trash can lid and sure. something or whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, oh, but no, that. so, I mean, that's, that's um, perhaps like later on, I mean, we're, mm. we're talking about working on a pilot, but no, as far as resonating with someone, absolutely. I was, I was, I, when I first wrote it, I wrote it, um, for everyone. I mm. hope that someone can either, if it's not relating to themselves, someone else that they've seen, or mm -hmm. like a cousin, or maybe mm -hmm. a distant as a family member, you're like, mm -hmm. you're crazy, you mm -hmm. know, like that kind of person. But still, we all have them in our family. Of course we do, yeah. yeah. And you know, what what I, I, I loved as well is that, you know, it just kind of showed also from your character perspective, the kind of vulnerability of just what you go through, like just, in the moment when you're just in there, oh, yeah. just, you know, from the first take, it was like, oh my goodness, what is going on right here? <laughs> uh, but what I love, I'm not gonna give, I'm not gonna give anything away, I'm not gonna give anything away, but what yeah. I love is that you didn't take me on a journey, I thought you were gonna take me, you just kind of threw me around the same way your relationship was in this, and I love yeah. that, and you sort of challenged your audience, which was really nice, so I'm not gonna mention anything, but it's not all that meets the eye, that's what I really like about it. What was the biggest challenge you both faced together in making this project, both in production or maybe on set? Budget, it's always budget with these mm -hmm. short films, isn't it? You know, yeah. so you're just always trying to conjure up the best you can with what you got. Yeah. Right. And, and you know, that's the beauty of working with a, a friend as well, is like, you, you just get shit done, you know? You make you it happen. Just, you just make it happen. Yeah. And yeah there has to be a solution. And yeah. we, we had plenty of issues thrown at us, didn't we? We did, we did. Losing um, main crew members, you know. Um. Yeah, one of the, a good friend of mine was, uh, was going to produce the film for me. He ended up dropping out last minute um, to go work on a feature film, which I don't, I don't hold it against him. I'm yeah. actually like, go, do yeah, it, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. You know, work when you can work. We all know that in this industry, you know, yeah. do it. Um, but for me, it kind of put me in the position where it's like, okay, I'm, you know, I created it, I'm doing all this, I'm, I'm now I'm doing location, well, I already did the location scouting, yeah. but now I'm like producing it. So it, it took a lot and it was taking away from my creative side. Yeah, and, and massively. Massively, you, just, you can't do everything. You no, you can't. can't. Yeah, and it's, yeah. And it's but, kind of suicidal so I, too. Yeah. But you overcame things <laughs> and, and that was great. Yeah, you know? and, and you know, it makes you realize everyone's role is so important. Yeah. You know, and from somebody just running around doing PA to DP to the sound. AC to the yeah. sound to everything, mm -hmm. every person in in the cast as well is like mm -hmm. it's so critical and it's me and it, we got really lucky with John there's, coming there's, in yeah. at the last minute. There's just so many moving parts. You there's know? so many there's, moving parts. And there if you could just take one that would ruin the whole production. Right. Yeah. But if, I, yeah, so go ahead. I was going to say, like, even when you get funding, because this is what we were talking about, even when you get funding and you have, like, the green light, like, it's in your account, mm -hmm. ready to go, there's still so many elements that, like, as far as, for me, budgeting with the location is, like, a huge thing. You I had feel. a great location for the, the restaurant, which is, like, because I always feel like, oh, goodness, how do you go about that dynamic? That was a good... I was just saying, 
Yeah. Yeah. It's it was, amazing. It was a set. I mean, <laughs> of course, right? Of course. Oh, yeah, we put that together. But you, no greatest problem. Thing you, the greatest thing you mentioned, well, I love you said someone, is you, you, fa- you know, you're about finding the solution. You know what I mean? And I think that's the difference between making an idea and, and actually making it into a film and to turn it into a film, which you've done. And something I love even here, like a lot of people in films kind of like spent all on their production and post-production they forget about budget for marketing so to speak and even just the presence of this great poster i love right here everyone see oh, um it's just such an important element to your film and a very important thing is maybe we forget about marketing and all this other stuff you need to do post actually post. making your film preparation yeah. is right? everything it's everything it's isn't it everything when you're everything. going to a battle like this you know you have a certain yeah. amount of hours yeah but you have to get the entire project done and if you miss a certain part of it then you, you don't have a project you know i mean you yeah. just have to or you, ha- or you have to learn through through editing yeah, as well. Yeah, editing. Like yeah. if, if there wasn't the time, if you didn't have the time to be able to let that go, and for me as the creator and the writer, um, that was a little hard. It yeah. was like it was a little hard to take yeah. it from the nine minutes to the six minutes and, yeah. and losing some of it. Because you captured this amazing footage, yeah. What's it yeah. like taking your idea and then seeing it on a big screen in front of an audience? That's got to be the best feeling ever, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely yeah. a sense of achievement, right? It was a, it's a huge sense of accomplishment. Like mm-hmm. you're just, I can't, you know, you, you saw it from writing it down on a spiral, you know, just mm-hmm. taking some notes. And um, so my, so the lead um, actor, James and I, we were in a performance uh, theater um, group. And I was like, I want to write something with him like he's fun and I know he'll you know bring this character to life because he has that very like manly sensible southern charm Mm -hmm. and I was like and I have this crazy Italian wild side it was like this is perfect you know these like (laughs) elements are amazing to work together so it was like let's put them together and make it work and um and so I wrote it two years ago and we've shot the film um, it took us 11 hours, so if you think about it, like mm-hmm. how long it took to actually, mm-hmm. from the time you write it, all the rewrites, not a lot of rewrites for this one, but mm-hmm. rewrites and then going into trying to get funding. Yeah. And then from that, and then 11 hours and you're done, you, no, but you, and then editing. You did it, and that was, that, that was, that was what was great about it, is so that a lot you of, uh, yeah, made very, it actually... It feels, it feels very, very, um, like amazing to see something that you worked on for so long up on a screen and i'm thankful for um new filmmakers for accepting the oh. film and you especially guys. when you get some laughs in the audience isn't well. it oh yeah it's yeah. the best it's, yeah. and that's what that's you did nice. it for yeah. um i i, I yeah, do I, did. I know i mentioned this in the very beginning but i do love this fantastic duo and i love that you'll be making more projects together so what is next for you both you want to take that well, there's a few projects. I yeah. uh, don't know exactly which is going to be next because, um, you know, we're both we're trying to get both of them off the ground. There's a pilot that Stephanie's trying to finish off writing and then there's a feature film that we've been writing together mm-hmm. that I actually want to play the lead in. Oh, um, great. Yeah. yeah. So it's a hardcore drama. It's a real tearjerker, you know. Oh, great. Film. But so lot, I'll be, I'll be directing. A lot dark comedy in it too, though. So we get to yell at him. Oh, so, you do? Yeah. <laughs> I, lo- I think honestly, I think you've got a film just in your in your, in your documentary around the film as well. You know, following you two around, I think it's fat. I think you've got a great a great duo going on there, honestly, because it's 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 really it's you know as I say, team is everything, and it, it really yeah. sh- I think it shows in the work when you when you've got a good team. It really does. For, yeah. for you should have each other's back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you need that. That's true. There's, you know? there's no competition. Yeah. There's no rivalry. It's like we don't even need a titles really you know it's yeah. just get, true. get the job done yeah. and yeah. enjoy the process you know there is no LA breakup here in the in the oh, producing no. duo there you go no listen thank you very much oh, for but your I'll film do, I'll do a quick little oh, thing because sure. we were talking about it um, just a little plug so the um, so the pilot that we're working on um, it's untitled right mm-hmm. now but but look for it it's going to be um, about two LA girls like trying to make it in this this crazy city that we live in so um definitely look for it because we're going to be working on it together and then again untitled feature film yeah so 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 sooner or later yeah. so 2020 there'll be uh, 2020, another project we're working completed. on it yeah
Fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Well, keep working wonderfully together. Thank, thank you. Thank you for bringing this LA breakup. Keep bringing us more films, and, and, and thank you both for joining us. Thank you very thank much. Thanks for having us. Simon yeah. and Steph, everybody. Cheers.